If you've been growing succulents for a while, you may have noticed they go through quite a bit of change with each season. Some can change so much they are almost unrecognizable. In this video, we'll have a look at what tends to happen to succulents in each season and how their look gets altered. Please note that this may not apply to absolutely all succulents as they can vary greatly. Other factors such as sun exposure or pot size can also play a role. Let's start with winter. Depending on where in the world you are, winter and the cold it brings is responsible for the most spectacular colors and shapes. Most succulents will go dormant towards the end of autumn and will stay dormant throughout winter. There will of course be exceptions. For instance, plants in the Aeonium genus are winter growers. Some of the changes I'm about to describe may also not happen if you're overwintering indoors due to harsh frosty weather. But if we generalize, this is what happens to most succulents. Once daylight reduces and temperatures start to drop, the colors will intensify. The tips and edges will often be the brightest. These will look more sturdy and can become a bit smaller, often giving a more plump appearance. Some rosette type succulents can close up, leaves pointing up. Overall, the growth will become tighter and more compact. In many places around the world, winter will bring out flowers. Again, it will depend on your particular location and where the plants are grown. There are some succulents that will go so deeply dormant and change so much they will almost look like they're dying. But in reality, they are just asleep. For example, this Orostachis ivarenge drastically reduces in size and forms beautiful tiny rosettes. Some can be up to 75% smaller than what they were when actively growing. Spring is synonymous with growth and nature waking up. The look of many succulents will change as they go through a phase of growth. In general, many will start opening up and losing a bit of color. Green or green blue is going to replace the reds, pink and orange. Some succulents, if they are stressed in another way, such as being very dry or root bound, are likely to retain the vibrant colors but they are unlikely to grow much. In a lot of succulents, you will almost be able to see them grow. The leaves become wider and longer. Changes in summer will very much depend on your climate, the temperature and rainfall. During very hot and dry summers, lots of succulents can go back to being partly dormant. Summer dormant succulents will also start closing up and take a rest. But for most, summer is a time of growth. Many succulents will remain open, lacking in color. If you do have extreme temperatures, you can keep succulents happy by simply installing shade cloth overhead and watering when the potting mix dries up. 30% shade cloth usually does the trick, but when temperatures rise over 40 degrees Celsius, you may need to either double up or get 50% to be on the safe side. A lot of succulents will grow really well in the first half of autumn due to the milder temperatures. But once daylight starts shortening and temperature begins to drop, major changes start to happen. Faint hues of pink, red, purple and orange start coming through. Leaves begin getting a bit smaller, which will give a more compact appearance. And summer dormant succulents start waking up. And that is the cycle. Please keep in mind that a lot of factors can influence how succulents appear and grow. If you would like to add anything to this video, you can leave a comment below. To learn more about succulents, hit the subscribe button or go to our website succulentgrowingtips.com. Thank you so very much for watching.